There's no stopping the Italian juggernaut, is there? A 1-0 victory over Wales yesterday, seeing them tie their all-time record of 30 games unbeaten, keeping 11 successive clean sheets in the process. It's been a mighty fine performance in the group stages from Roberto Mancini's side. We'll find out who they face in the last 16 when Group C concludes later today. It's a similar situation for Wales as well, who, despite that defeat, managed to secure second spot in Group A, and they'll be facing off against whoever finishes second in Group B in the last 16, which, right now, has got every possible conclusion still on the table. Belgium are clearly the hot favourites to take first place, but behind them, oof, there's a lot to look forward to. Russia holding on to second place, courtesy of their victory last time out against Finland, giving them the head-to-head -head advantage and a 43.9% chance of taking second spot, according to our prediction model. However, when we put the question of who would finish second out to you on our Twitter account, at Opta Analyst, you were much more confident in their opponents today, Denmark being the ones to secure that second automatic qualification spot at 53%, with Russia coming in at 25%, Finland at 14%, and Belgium just 8%. And it's with that game between Denmark and Russia that we'll start taking a closer look at today's action. With Denmark really needing to find their shooting boots in Copenhagen, they've had 43 attempts on goal so far in the competition, scoring just once. And of course, they've lost back-to-back -back games as well, so it really is all against them. However, our win probability model is giving Denmark a 48.9% chance of winning the game, with the draw coming in at 28.3% and a Russia win at 22.8%, which would actually buck a trend in recent major tournaments for them, having lost their final group game in three of their last four major tournament appearances, the last victory coming back in Euro 2008. Belgium, meanwhile, will look to secure top spot against Finland, but it's a nation they haven't defeated in their last seven games, with their last victory coming back in 1968. Our win probability model is full of confidence, though, giving them a 65.3% chance of taking the victory, with the draw at 21.6% and a finished victory, which would actually guarantee them a last 16 place, just 13.1%. A curious fact for you about them, they've only mustered two shots on target so far in Euro 2020. Since 1980, no team has ever had fewer than four shots on target over their three group stage games, so that's one record they'll want to avoid. Earlier in the day, Group C concludes and all eyes will be on the clash between Ukraine and Austria as they go head-to-head -head in a battle to secure the second automatic qualifying spot and avoid the lottery of a third-place finish. Realistically, the ball is in Ukraine's court with a point enough for them to take second. Our win probability model, though, is backing them to take the victory with a 37.9% chance of doing so, and having ended a run of six consecutive defeats at European Championships last time out, we have to go back to 2006 for the last time they won consecutive matches at major tournaments, with current boss Andrei Shevchenko scoring in both those games. We already know that the Netherlands are going to top Group C, and we already know that North Macedonia are going to finish bottom. But that doesn't mean there's nothing at stake in this game. The Netherlands are looking for just the third time in their history to win all three group stage matches at the European Championships, while North Macedonia are hoping they don't become the third nation to lose their first three matches in their history of the tournament. Might be worth looking away now then as our win probability model is giving the Netherlands an overwhelming chance of victory at 66.3% with the draw at 20.9% and a North Macedonia win at 12.8%. But maybe Goran Pandev is nicely going to bookend his international career in his final game. You see, he scored in his nation's first ever international fixture against the Netherlands nearly 17 years ago. So what better way to sign off than finding the back of the net once again and adding to his country's record of 38 goals. 
Anyway, thanks very much for tuning in today. Don't forget to head over to our Twitter account at Opta Analyst to take part in the polls for tomorrow's show. And also head to the Analyst 2 where we've got all the latest for you in our Euros Hub, live standings, predictors, player and team stats, and of course our daily rolling blog that will keep you up to date with all the latest insights from the tournament. That's all at theanalyst.com, home of data-driven storytelling.